I, so this project today was a question I received through my website and it was how to put words or text around a shape in Scan and Cut Canvas and I've looked back through all my YouTube videos and I can't see that I've ever actually done a video on this. The simple answer is there's no easy way to do it in Canvas. I'm sure I've covered it with Inkscape but I'm going to show you how to do it in Scan and Cut Canvas. So I'm going to come over to the basic shapes I'm in a new blank page and I'm just going to choose a circle and just to make it easier to see on the screen I'm going to make it bigger but obviously you size your circle or square whatever it is you're using size it accordingly before you start to put your text on it I'm going to hit the back button and go to text and I'm just going to choose this font on the top left now to put text around a shape, it works better if you use all uppercase. So I'm going to double click at the end of the T and just highlight the word and I'm just going to put the capital locks on, on my keyboard and I'm going to type happy and click away. Now I'm just going to bring that over the circle just to have a look at it to see kind of what it looks like in proportion. I'm going to shrink it down a bit. Okay, so I'm going to make a duplicate of that and this because I'm going to show you two ways. So this is one word at the moment and there's no way to shape this word around this circle or path, if you like. This is a cutting path. So with your word selected, you're going to right click and hit divide and that will break up the word into individual letters. Now, I would start with the middle letter of your word. So I'm going to grab this P and put it roughly in the middle of this circle and just slightly overlap it. I'm going to tinker with it in a little bit, but this is how I would do it. Now, again, you can put your words, you know, level or you can rotate them. And then you just use the, the round green circle handle on the top of your letter and just position them, bring your next one in, rotate it, get your next one, bring that down onto the line and then rotate it. And then I would zoom in just on like the top half of your shape and your letters and just have a look and see if they need tweaking in any way. You want them to try and overlap the circle a similar distance. Obviously it's not going to be exact because like this A has got a slanted line on the bottom whereas the P is perfectly horizontal. So I think they look okay for now so I'm just going to zoom back out. So there's your word on top of your circle. Select everything and you can either go to edit and weld or you can use the right click and weld, it doesn't matter. And that's now welded your word to that circle. And from here, obviously, you can resize it or make it bigger. It's entirely up to you. And you could cut that and stick that on the front of a card. If you wanted a matting layer behind it, while it's selected, go to Edit, Offset, and then choose the appropriate size matting layer that you want. You might want a few, so let's do... 0 0.12 outward and say OK. So there's my original. I'm going to colour them so hopefully you can see it better. Um, you don't need to do this when you cut it. I've said this before, scan and cut can't cut by colours, but I sometimes find it easier when I'm trying to show you something in a video. So I'm going to colour this with one colour. I'm going to colour this layer with another colour and then you may want to add another layer so select your offset, go to edit, offset, again you can make it the same distance or you can make it more. I did 0 0.12 on the last one, I'll do 0 0.16 on this one just to show you. 
this is your bigger one so we'll put this one I'll just change its colour before it gets too confusing <clears throat> so this is the biggest one so I'll put this one on top now it wants to go behind so with it selected right click and bring to front that can sit on there and again this one's behind and you want it on top so right click bring to front and there is your multicoloured layered word around a shape so I'll just group that for now so that's a right click and group and then I'll bring this one in now this one I'm going to do slightly differently so Again, I've got the word, I'm going to right click and hit divide. And then this time I'm going to do a similar thing, but I'm going to just make them slightly different. So I'll just bring them down here for now. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this P, rotate it, select the Y, just rotate them all for now to get them roughly how I want them and then again I'm going to zoom in you can you know play around with them but I'm going to keep this middle P kind of centered to my circle and then I'm just going to overlap these ever so slightly I'm going to try and keep the same amount of gap overlapping the circle on all the bottoms of the letters and then I'm just going to overlap them so they only just touch. Bring this one in. Now this one they're only going to touch on the bottom and the same with the H and the A they're only going to touch on the bottom. And then I'm going to select the circle and bring it down out of the way. Now I'm just going to select my letters and again edit and weld or right click and weld whichever you want. So now you've got your letters welded together on a shape. So if I go back to fit to mat, you can see now that they're welded together. And again, you know, you can rotate them a little bit more however you want. So if you wanted to put them Let's see, let's go back to basic shapes and let's choose a scallop circle. Make it bigger. You know, you might want to use this as a matting layer and put some words so it goes around that shape rather than a circle. It's entirely up to you. But that's the only way to put words or text around a shape in scan and cut canvas so again i'm just going to fill this with color just to make it a little bit easier to see in fact i'm just going to ungroup this so you've got your you've got your letters now again you can do the same thing edit offset Let's take it to about 12 and you've got a matting layer and then we'll do another one. So we've got the offset selected, edit offset and we'll make this one 12 again. So I'll fill these with colour. I'll choose a different colour this time. So again, it want, our second layer wants to go behind, so with it selected, right click and bring it to the front, layer that up, and then again we want to bring this one to the front and layer that up. So I'll get rid of the circle and I'll bring this one in. So that's how you put text 
or letters around a shape in Scan and Cut Canvas. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.